Rumors have long suggested that Apple Incorporated, who is best known for its selection of iPhones and Mac computers, is actively working on a variety of different automobile projects that could end up leading to the development of an actual Apple iCar. And we saw an opportunity to transform another fundamental method of transit, Apple Car. This means that Apple will most certainly be tackling the market of electric vehicles, competing with the likes of Elon Musk and friends. But what do we really know about this research project of theirs, which has been named Project Titan? Well, whether you're a fan of Apple products or you just want to know more about the future of electric vehicles, stay right where you are, as we're going to explore everything that there is to know about Apple's upcoming iCar. So strap yourselves in and get ready for a trip to the future, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, please make sure to leave us a like, subscribe to the channel, as well as hit that post notification bell, so that way you never miss another update from us. Project Titan When it comes to the workings of Apple Incorporated, Project Titan has been used to refer to a number of different elements and technologies. But if you really group these together, the project involves the broad categories of self-driving vehicle systems and overall car design. And while there were initial reports indicating that Apple was actually in the process of creating their own vehicles that would be able to be produced at the same time as Tesla vehicles, it would appear as if there has been a bit of a change for Apple going forward. Either that or the original reports were incorrectly handled. You see, Apple doesn't truly want to create their own electric vehicles, but have rather dedicated to place the majority of their research into the development of a self-driving system that can adequately compete with Tesla. If they end up placing all their eggs in this basket, then they'll be able to come up with a product far better than what Tesla has at their disposal. But once a system's been developed, nothing stops the company from incorporating it into their own iCar. So this original dream is still alive to a certain extent. To fully understand what's going on at the moment, let's look at the category of design and see where Apple is at the moment. The history of Project Titan. As we mentioned earlier, the initial plan that Apple came up with when drawing up the concept for Project Titan had involved the creation of an Apple car, if you will, which would have been delivered between 2019 and 2020. Towards the latter half of 2015, however, the project experienced what is going to be described by Forbes as an incredible failure of leadership. According to sources, Various project managers got into long-winded fights with one another over whether Project Titan was going to be the future of the company. With a great divide between two camps stating that they wanted a working model of a vehicle and those who saw the future in a superior self-driving feature, project leader Steve Zadeski decided to leave the company and never look back. Once Zadeski left, sources continued to say that the design and technology behind Project Titan were very much in flux. At one point, it even looked as though the self-driving feature was indeed being preferred above all else, with Apple even raging out to BMW and considering its i3 model be the base car for the Apple car. Talks between Apple and BMW eventually ended, with one another not being able to conclude who might lead the project and even own the project data at the end of the day. A German report had seemed to indicate that Apple had a top secret lab in Berlin, which hired upwards of 15 experts in the field of electronic vehicles. Accordingly, these experts would work on Apple's behalf, coming up with concepts and manufacturing partnerships which were much needed by the company. The Apple car faced another speed bump in May of 2016 when Mansfeld went ahead and announced a new Project Titan strategy in a Silicon Valley auditorium packed with hundreds of employees, explaining that his decision was based on an evaluation made which compared to the resources of Apple to those of Tesla, Project Titan would no longer be aimed at a direct competition with the already famous electric vehicle manufacturer. Tesla does, after all, already have several electric vehicles on the road and is steadily working towards the creation of a self-driving system. Some have even gone on to suggest that the difficulties that Apple has experienced in the early days of Project Titan had to do a lot with them being used to exerting heavy control over various suppliers for devices like the iPhone. After discovering that the makers of the auto parts would be far less eager to commit to their cause based upon the incredible expenses involved in the creation of the car and the fact that Apple would not be committing to a large production line of these vehicles, Apple needed to find a new way to move forward. The design of Project Titan Unlike the self-driving mechanism that is very much within the public eye at the moment, nothing much is really known about the overall design of the Apple car, or even if it does indeed end up being made. The design efforts of the company have been kept under wraps for quite some time now, with some rumors suggesting that Apple is, well, actually in the process of creating an electric van, with which Tesla has yet to do. The only real information that anybody has up to date to be 
able to drum up the vehicle that is, is patent applications which have been lodged by Apple. For those of you that don't know, patents are intellectual property rights which allow the holder to create something of their own, such as the Apple car. In the same sense, they prevent anyone other than the holder from doing the exact same, and in other words, these patent applications can be used to see what Apple actually has in store for us. And if we're going to look at these specific patent applications, it looks as if the general appearance of the electric vehicle will likely be departing from what we currently know about the vehicle design. We expect Apple to make use of sleek designs and curves when developing the iCar, as a similar design has been used throughout its product line, ranging from Mac computers to smartphones of varying degrees. Proposals include the use of AR and VR technology, in-screen displays, privacy lighting, and unique sunroof designs, which are sure to make the Apple Car a competitor to Tesla and other manufacturers of electric vehicles. The design of the Apple Car is also dependent on whether the self-driving element of the vehicle is in working order by that time the development will start to take place. Simply put, seating arrangements can be spread out sporadically if nobody's actually required to operate the vehicle, whereas the Tesla, well, it's yet to even reach this point with the driver still having to find himself sitting at the conventional driver's seat. The design of the iCar is likely to be based on the incorporation of other forms of Apple products. We all know that Apple loves to ensure that their customers buy everything directly from them, with there already being a pretty convenient link between iPhone and Mac operating systems. Imagine an electric vehicle that operates without a carbon footprint and enables the driver to set up his Mac computer and work while he drives from point A to point B. And while that is quite a cliche trope of cars and their overall function, the fact is that it will no longer be considered something futuristic, with it looking like Apple being on the verge of securing the matter for itself. The release of the Apple Car Since not much has been disclosed about the creation of what will become to be called the Apple Car, we can't even hazard a guess as to when such a vehicle would be ready to launch. Since the technology is nowhere to where it needs to be, it's likely still going to be a couple of years until lovers of Apple can even start thinking about owning an Apple car of their own. While a report from 2016 indicates that Apple were actually expecting to roll out the vehicle as early as last year, issues relating to the global health situation had caused a massive delay in 2021, which was then increased even further with the departure of Steve Zadsky from the project. Noted Apple analyst Ming Ching Ku actually proposed way back in August of 2018 that Apple will likely create a shipping consumer product under the name of Project Titan as early as 2023, with the launch of the Apple car stretching as far back as 2025. And while we have next to no idea how this analyst reached the conclusion he did, some suspect that his evaluation was done by looking at the gaps in the market that would be created by the tectonic shifts in the automotive market. But since there is now a number of delays being experienced by the company in respect to the project, there is simply no knowing when the next big thing from Project Titan will possibly be made available to the public. Incredible Apple Car Features As we mentioned earlier, probably the most prominent element of the entirety of Project Titan has been the focus of research on the element of self-driving systems. Coming up with a comprehensive self-driving system is something that could change the world after all and allow Apple to skyrocket over and above what Tesla is currently doing. And Surprisingly enough, it's actively known that Apple has tested a self-driving system recently, with many having spotted this test for themselves. In order to do this, the company also had to obtain the correct permits to allow for the test, with there being a pretty large paper trail warning competitors that Apple is a lot closer to the development of the system than they might think. According to reports, when the vehicle is not being controlled by software, drivers will be able to take control of the vehicle electronically through the use of drive-by wire technology. This requires them to use a Logitech steering wheel and pedal system. Pilots of the vehicle should also be able to disengage the autonomous driving by either stepping on the brake or grabbing the steering wheel with any form of acceleration not overriding the system at all. But what do you think about this concept? Please let us know in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, as well as hit that post notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.